In this TA Tech Tip, I will show you how to fill the humidity chamber of the Q5000 essay. The Q5000 essay requires periodic refills of deionized or distilled water when the water level indicator is low or when we are going to initiate an autosampler sequence of experiments or when we are going to run experiments at high temperature and high relative humidity. It is not desirable to add water in the middle of the test unless it is absolutely necessary. It is not recommended to add water while you are collecting critical data. First, we need to enable the humidity fill mode. Using the touch screen, select Control. Then press Autofill button, then press Apply. It is a good practice to drain the water before you fill the chamber. To do that, first we need to place a beaker under the humidity chamber. Then pull the drain plug and collect the water. When it is done, replace the drain plug now you can see the error message telling us the water reservoir is low. We need about 90 ml of deionized or distilled water to fill the chamber. We will use the syringe from the accessory kit, which contains 30 ml. We will need to fill it three times. Remove the rubber cap from the water fill fitting on the left side of the humidity chamber and connect the tubing from the syringe to the water fill fitting. Inject the water five mils at a time, pausing in between. While pausing, watch the control status of the touch screen. It will change from low to OK, then to full. The water level indicator takes a couple seconds to register that the reservoir is full. So we need to fill the chamber slowly to avoid overfilling. Overfilling might damage the electronics and the humidity sensor. When the chamber is full, instrument will produce a beep. The beep sometimes is hard to hear, but 90 ml of water is adequate to fill the humidity chamber. Replace the rubber cap on the water fill fitting. Return to the touch screen and disable the humidity fill mode by pressing apply. Otherwise, you won't be able to run your experiments. Wait until the humidity chamber temperature equilibrates before you proceed with your experiments.